Bob Maloney from my MMA News. And I'm watching the UFC fights last night. I'm watching my, my man, Bill Senior Perfecto Algio, get his victory. And then he strolls over to the, the post fight, you know, interview. And he gives us shout outs to, I'm going to give a shout out to my wrestling coach, Marcus Hardiman. And who are we talking to tonight? My man, Marcus Hardiman. Marcus, it has to be a great feeling for the team to get a big win last night. You know, just tell me, you know, you talked to Bill today. Tell me how the, every, everything is going, everybody's feeling. Got to be positive right now. It was, um, it was really cool getting to hear that because I was supposed to be out there for this fight and uh, things got messed up with COVID and all the traveling and everything. So it was like a last minute thing. I couldn't go out. Um, I was supposed to go out a day later than them. So it, it really sucked. And um, we all knew like going to this fight, a big deciding factor is going to be Bill being able to stay on his feet. And uh, if he got taken down, like getting back up to his feet. So, you know, uh, like fights over now, but like I was nervous because I was like, geez, man, like I'll feel terrible if I'm not there. And, you know, for whatever reason, like something happens or something's on the fly and we need to make a quick adjustment. Like, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in the fact that that Bill wants to work with me. And, um, you know, so to me, if something goes wrong, then that's on my you know, that's on my plate. That's my fault. And I think that Bill would probably say the same thing because, uh, you know, Bill helps me out striking. So if, if I was fighting and something didn't go right in that area, you know, I'm sure he would be bummed out about it too. So we have a really good bond. We, um, we wound up getting connected. I was training with one of the guys, his name was Dennis and, uh, Dennis wound up moving out to Vegas and then put me in connection with Eric. And uh, Eric was like, hey, you know, I have a fighter. He's got a fight coming up. Um, it was supposed to be the CFFC fight with Doolin. And um, he was like, can you come in and can you wrestle around with him a little bit? So I was like, sure thing. So I went in and, uh, and then Billy won that. And then two days later, he was like, hey, like I have this fight in the UFC. Can you like come in? And I was like, yeah, dude. So we were at his gym and I was like, I would love to come out and help you out for your fight. Like, you know, I'll pay for my own airfare. I'll do whatever I need to do. Like. Is it, people around here, they don't get the call that much to the big show. It's starting to now, which is nice. Um, but, you know, Billy's Billy's always been good to me. So it's like you, you want to do everything you can. And we have that bond now where it's like I talk to him every day. He'll call me. He'll text me. I call him. I text him. Uh, you know, first thing he did, he got off the flight. Like, he called me real quick. And he was like, hey, like, you know, let's let's get together this week. Like. You know, he's probably going to take it a little lighter. He just had a, that big fight. But, you know, I want to go over what he was doing in his fight. And he's like, you know, you're, you're still fighting, too. So, like, let's work on your striking. Let's get you back in there and doing your stuff, too. So it's cool. Hey, listen, I when you when I found out that you were working with Bill, I was like really thrilled for you because, you know, I've got the big cage side for your previous amateur fights. And, you know, you basically have dominated with your wrestling Although I have seen you make steps with your striking and now, you know, to, to get in there with Bill and I'm sure Eric Carner, I'm sure you've gotten to uh, talk with Eric and, and those guys, the thing about those two guys are, is they're always thinking they're such strategists, you know what I mean? They're not like, Let me, let's just go in there and do this fight and get it over with. I know both of those guys are, are, are always scheming and coming up with plans and, uh, you know, that's a... Tell me about that. Do you guys sit around and, and talk about those kind of things? Of course. I mean, <laughs> it, it's not uncommon. It'll be like, you know, we're all night birds, all of us. Um, so I'll get I'll get a text from Bill. It's like 1130, and it'll be like a link to a, like an ACA fight. That's his new thing. We're watching the ACA fights, and he's like, check out this dude. Like, check out, like. What do you think about this combo into this? And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, let's work on that tomorrow. Like, let's work on this series. Um, and it's cool because I like the technical side of really anything, like any kind of sport. It doesn't matter what it is. I, I think that, like, technique is such a beautiful thing. When, when you see someone doing something at a high level and they have, like, that technique perfected, um, it's just beautiful. So it's so much fun getting to be around those two because Eric is such a – purist when it comes to Muay Thai um you know he's was over in Sichuan and was doing stuff over there and then you know Bill's I mean around here he's, he's like a, a legend 
when it comes to MMA. He's a black belt in Muay Thai. He's a black belt in Jiu Jitsu. And he's wrestled for years now. Um, so it's so much fun. Like we get to sit there and we break things down and we work on techniques. And what's really cool is that Bill will come up to me and he was, he'll be like, Hey, I think that this would be a really good technique for you to do. So why don't we drill this for you practice today? And then I'll be like, okay. And I want you to work on this today. So we get so much better between like the group that we have. And it's a blast. It's so much fun in there. Hey man, listen, I'm, I'm excited, man, for you to finally get your opportunity. Hopefully early in 2021, the regional scene, you know, starts getting back again. Right now we're unfortunately going through another, you know, restriction. So, you know, anything in the, in the city area, we're not really ha- able to, uh, you know, get together and have any fun cage fights. So Marcus on the way. Hey, listen, thanks again for giving me some time, man. Yeah. And I know we're heading into the holiday season. I wanted to touch base with you and tell you keep doing good things over there. Not just Bill. I know, Bill, you guys have a, n- a nice team over there. It's not just Bill who competes. I know that, you know, once we get back into kickboxing and the Muay Thai, it'll be like, uh, you know, around Robin over there with sparring and getting people ready for fights. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I go down there Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then Bill will come down one or two days or come up, I guess, to the Lehigh Valley. Uh, and it's nice because when I go to his gym, we, we definitely focus more on, um, striking, but we'll also do grappling. And then when he comes up to the Lehigh Valley, we'll focus more on grappling than, you know, we'll throw in a little bit of striking. Uh, but it's really cool because after we do like the classes, I mean, Bill's got a whole bunch of studs at his gym. So we'll do the classes, but then we'll like work together privately for like an hour, hour and a half afterwards. And that's when you really start to see the growth and it's, it's a blast. You know what I mean? Everyone there, they're all good. He's got a whole bunch of good people at his gym, like you said, and they all compete. They do jiu-jitsu, they do Muay Thai, they do kickboxing, they do boxing, like do everything. there. Got some studs. Hey, like you said, man, Philly and the Philly area, we're putting a lot more guys are, are, are getting into the UFC and they're not just getting there. They're actually performing at a high level. So it's a beautiful thing to see. Marcus Hardiman, hopefully, listen, you get back in one track in 2021 and get a few more amateur fights and then maybe go pro and, and, you know, the future could be bright for you in there too. I know you work hard and that's a goal of yours. And like I said, man, have a great holiday and and I look forward to talking to you. I'll probably see you work in Bill's corner again soon, hopefully. And, uh, you know, keep me up to date. If you hear anything about yourself getting back in the cage, man, it's always good to talk to you. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. My pleasure, Marcus.